It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS 101.1 FM and AM 1160. And our conversation today with Bill Dendy uh, is brought to you by Marcus and Mack, voted best personal injury law firm in the best of Indiana County contest. Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. Bill comes to us from Dallas and we're talking about grocery shopping and, and, you know, household shopping overall. It's been much more difficult this year. Uh, than in the past. And, uh, well, there are a number of factors that influence that. And people are making all kinds of different uh, moves, if you will. Their behaviors are changing. Uh, Bill, good morning. Good morning. You're exactly right. People are seeing costs of things across the board up 10 to 20% over the past two years. And a lot of folks, they didn't see their salaries go up by that 20%. So if they want to maintain their standard of living, and they already had almost every dollar spoken for, if your salary didn't go up and the cost of your buying goes up by 20% and you don't want to cut back your lifestyle by 20%, we got to do things differently. And it's amazing that people are finding new ways to purchase so that they can get more bang for the buck so that they can maintain that lifestyle with lower purchasing power in general. Isn't it amazing, Bill, to you how people adapt to situations? Absolutely. And it's interesting that you know, getting people to change their buying habits is an area of study that marketing has uh, worked with for, for decades. And they said it's very difficult to get a person to change the way they shop, the way they buy things. It's, uh, uh, it's a uh, art to get someone to try something different and try to create a new habit. Yet, according to a recent survey, over 80% of those surveys said they've changed their shopping habits a large degree because of inflation over the past two years. So when the boogeyman gets big enough, it makes us make some changes. And uh, we're starting to see those changes uh, in everything from uh, uh, big purchases to our overall financial planning, uh, to our investments, to uh, how we shop for groceries. Well, speaking of going down the grocery aisle, I know that a lot of store brands and generic brands, off brands, if you will, have become much more popular, haven't they? Absolutely. As people are like, well, you know, maybe I don't need Cheerios. Maybe toasted O's without the cheery is going to be just as good. Mm -hmm. And other people are like, no, if it's not Cheerios, it's not Cheerios. It doesn't taste the same. And so it becomes one of those deals that is uh, kind of subjective to the individual consumer, but it takes a lot for us to try something different. And so the fact that we're out there trying is an indication that we're looking to to maintain our lifestyle with uh, less purchasing power in general. And that is not just the off-brands, but maybe the off-stores, the stores that aren't as uh, wide-aisled and uh, uh, maybe not with the biggest selection, but maybe with lower prices. Um, And so it's back to basic shopping 101, basic budgeting 101, things that we may have gotten complacent about because we could afford to be complacent. We didn't have to... Think about it when everybody was doing okay, but this uh, almost invisible pressure of uh, inflation is uh, causing people to uh, rethink a lot of what they're doing in their lives. Well, Bill, you said get back to the basics. What are the basics of Shopping 101? Well, grocery shopping, I mean, I, I think we can all agree that probably rule number one is don't go hungry. I mean, you don't want to go shopping when you're hungry. Mm -hmm. There's there's something about pushing that basket down the aisle and and being hungry that makes you buy a lot more than you anticipated. Uh, I I guess the second rule is know what you're going to get before you go. Have that list prepared and try not to deviate much. A third part would be to um, know the prices before you go. Uh, Interestingly enough, some communities, they've got a store that may be discounting the milk and dairy products a lot, but they're expensive on the meat, and across town they got another store that's discounted the meat, but not the dairy products. And so knowing what the games are within the town can go a long way to maybe splitting that trip up into two separate chips and buying the right things at the right stores. And then finally, save money when possible. Uh, buy those off brands or use coupons with the name brands. Uh, it embarrasses the heck out of my family, but I still think a dollar's precious, and I think couponing makes some sense, and especially now with digital couponing. So know the prices before you go and take advantage of any sales or discounts that might be available to you with the couponing. Uh, These types of things can help the average consumer save 10 to 20%, and if that's the cost of inflation over the past couple of years, uh, we should be okay on the grocery aisle anyway. But, Bill, I impulse buy. I see this, and I say, I have to have that. And and that that looks so good. And, 
And I might in the in the future need that. You know that people do that. Absolutely. So budget your impulse buys. Know you're going to do it. Don't deny yourself. You know you're going to do it. But put a limit to how much you're able to do. And know what you're spending. Because a lot of us, we don't consult the budget when we want to spend a little extra money. But if we were a little more diligent, our dollars would go a whole lot further. And we'd have the ability to make other choices down the road. Now, you talked about grocery prices. That's one thing. What about other consumer goods? Uh, Do the same, I don't want to call them tricks, do the same strategies work? Uh, Generally, having information is going to be your key strategy. And not buying things out of season. And know that certain products come in and out of season. And certain times, if you can put things off, you just put them off. You might recall two years ago, we had the, Prices of used cars jumping so high, 25% increase in used car prices. Um, And we couldn't get components for the new cars. And so if you didn't just have to have a car right then, it wasn't the time to go buying. Um, Same thing when you go grocery shopping. We know that you you get the fruit out of season. It doesn't taste as good and it costs twice as much. So buy the things that are in season, buy the things that are local, buy the things that are not run up as everybody else wants to uh, buy at the same time. And keep in mind, we're probably going to see a slowdown of this inflation in the next few months as the whole, I don't know, seems like a lot of people didn't slow down their shopping over the holiday season. We're saying we've had one of the best holiday seasons ever, and a lot of folks subsidize their shopping with their credit card. Uh, mm-hmm. the inflation has been a challenge for a couple of years now. So some people just went through their savings and now they're going to the credit cards and come January, February, when they see the cost of carrying debt has gone up so much, they're going to have to make some hard decisions and they're going to probably cut back. And as we have a whole lot of people cutting back at all about the same time, we're going to see that slow down in the economy that the fed's been looking for to lower prices back down. That slowdown of inflation doesn't come without some pain, and just be aware that we're going to have that probably a universal waking up here in the next month or two as people realize they cannot sustain their purchasing power with credit cards. They've got to find a way to either lower the cost or cut back in general. And when the whole economy does that at one time, uh, it'll probably bring down some of the demand and some items and that might help out with inflation, such as the Fed can start lowering rates back down. Bill Dendy's a CPA and money manager. Bill, um, when people don't have enough discipline or don't have the discipline that they wish they had and they do get themselves in trouble, they find themselves in January getting getting those bills. Um, what are some of the strategies uh, for, for taking care of that very, very difficult uh, problem? It's a challenge for a lot of folks. And if you find yourself in a situation, don't feel alone. Don't feel like you're the only person or that the, 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 the system's built almost to get a person in a position where you it, credit's easy to get, but then you got to pay it back. And so um, key things, number one, know the interest rates you're paying when you're borrowing money. Uh, there are lower interest rate options often available. It takes a little extra work, just kind of like that uh, comparison shop we're talking about comparison shop your interest rates and your credit cards. Uh, stay with the lowest cost. Consider balance transfers, but know that on a balance transfer, they may charge you 3 to 5% for the privilege of doing the transfer, and you need to build that into the overall equation. Uh, look for cheaper money elsewhere. For some people, they know they're going to pay off the debt eventually. They just have a, a little hump they have to get through, and they may find that they can do things. I've seen folks borrow from their 401k plan. Uh, you basically pay yourself back. Now, I don't like borrowing from the retirement plan, but for some folks, if uh, they did all the comparisons, it's the lowest cost debt because they're basically paying back the interest into their plan at a re- reasonably low interest rate. But if you're not comfortable with this, talk to the CPA or the certified financial planner who specializes in this area of debt management and budgeting because there are people out there, believe it or not, who do this for others and help make sense of a confused life. And it's as simple as give them a phone call and spend a little time with them and have them show you how to keep track and then do check it. It's kind of like personal coaching. It can go a long way, especially if you feel overwhelmed by trying to get out from the debt, maintain your lifestyle, and maybe save for a future retirement. Solid advice from Bill Dendy this morning. Bill, where are we going to learn more about you and what you do? Alicorninvestmentmanagement.com. Alicorn. It's, it's a unicorn that flies. I mean, unicorns are rare, but the 
Pegasus unicorn, the flying unicorn, that's even more rare. A-L-I-C-O-R-N, alicorninvestmentmanagement.com. Bill, thanks so much for spending some time with us. Appreciate it. Happy New Year. God bless you. It's been a real pleasure to be with you. Happy New Year. Be with you. Happy New Year.